Hey YouTube, it's Jam. So today I did this eye look for you guys. I am obsessed with it. It is um, like deep coppery red colour all over the lid and then this fuchsia purpley pink colour in the crease. And I just think it's gorgeous for blue eyes, really makes them pop. Um, and then just really bronzy skin and pinky nude lips. So if you want to see how I did this look then keep on watching. So I'm taking a big fluffy brush um, and this copper colour by Giordana and I'm going to pat that onto the lid. As you can see this colour is just gorgeous. Oh so pretty. Control yourself. So pretty! My brush was a bit too big. Um, I'm going in with this little blendy brush and softening the edges because my packing on brush was just massive. If you've got blue eyes then this look is going to be absolutely perfect for you because blues on, I mean coppers and purples on blue eyes just makes your eyes go boom. <laughs> just like that, boom. Ugh. Filming today is going to be interesting, isn't it? So I'm going into my sleek acid palette and I'm taking this like fuchsia purpley pink colour and we're going to start putting this into the crease. Don't those colours look cool together? This look is not going to be for people scared of colour. So I'm just packing it on at the moment and then we're going to go back to our skinny blendy brush and blend that line out. And I'm going to bring it down, I might show you on the side, <laughs> I'm going to bring it down to the lash line making the out of V kind of shape. And some more blending and then we're going to take it under the lash line now we are going to clean up that fallout because fallout ain't cute And I'm going to take more of my red copper shade and pack it onto the lid again because we lost quite a bit of it with our blending, as you do. I'm kind of blending it out um, towards my eyebrow. Just for a really blown out, diffused look. Now I'm going to conceal under the eyes. Lately I've been using a foundation to conceal because I've got this L'Oreal True Match um, foundation ivory and it's pink toned whereas my skin's yellow toned so um, it works really well under the eyes to counteract the blues and reds. So, Ooh, I went a bit crazy with concealer today. Oh my. I'm going to blend that out with a little fluffy brush. Clean up that edge of the eyeshadow a bit. This foundation is really lovely. I wish that it um, was the right colour for my whole face. Okay, now we are going to do some eyeliner and um, what is it called? Mascara. There we go. Woo! So I'm going to take this tiny little brush, which is actually a uh, nail art brush, but it is really small focus but it's got a really nice fine point so it is perfect for eyeliner um and just some gel liner and i think i'm only going to do a really thin line because i don't want to take away from the pretty eyeshadow colors and just a really thin line now to try and do the same on the other side i'm obsessed with these eyes oh loves it so i'm gonna go in with um this mascara by remo the lash accelerator endless 
Um, this has got Grow Lash Serum in it, apparently, so. And then I'm just gonna go over it with this mascara. This is the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express. I really love this one. Um, I don't feel like wearing eyelashes today, so I'm just not going to. Um, I don't think you need eyelashes to have beautiful eyes. Um, and the last thing to do is just tight line your upper lash line. And just look at the difference that tight lining your lash line does. These lashes look so much bigger and like we did a thicker eyeliner. It's just the best. Right, now we're going to zoom out. Oh, excuse my messy background. Let's just... Okay, I'm going to now go in with my bronzer, the Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer. I already did some bronzy contouring after my foundation, but can't have enough bronzer in my right. Uh, what kind of blush should we do with this look? I'm actually kind of liking just the bronzer. Maybe just a tiny bit of this corally pink. Oh, it looks very pink on camera right there. This corally pink colour. I'm just going to do a wash of that because I feel like my cheeks need something. You need something. And I'm going to add a little bit of the MUA Undress Your Skin Highlighter. My lid has broken off. Very sad. Where is the brush? I'm also going to take a little bit of the highlighter and put that in our inner corner. And when I said a little bit of the highlighter, I mean a lot. And just blend that up into the eyeshadow. And down into the bottom bit and the tiniest bit under the brow I don't want a disco brow <laughs> just a little bit um, now lips okay my favorite nude lippy at the moment is this sweet pea and fae um, it's like a lip cream in ren renunculus renunculus Perfect for pale skin tones like mine. So I'm going to blend that in with a little brush. Is that a pretty colour? I really can't see it. How did I do that? Ah. Ugh. Okay, and this is the completed look. I freaking love the eyes, but crazy, so um, might not be for everyone, but I love colour and I love making my blue eyes pop, so yeah. You. So this is the finished look, I really love it, perfect for blue eyes or um, perfect for full time. Uh, personally I would wear it any time because I'm crazy and I love colour. Um, yeah, let me know if you try this out. You can um, show me on Instagram by hashtagging GemSaysMeow. I would love to see your, your looks. Um, so let me know down below if you want to see more makeup looks. I don't do a lot on this channel because I'm not sure if you guys like them or not. So let me know um, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.